Hey guys, it's Tarko Stockman FBB. I've got an arm in here for two drones, a Flywoo and a, oh gosh, what was it now? I just missed it. What was that arm in right here, bud? What are you doing? Taking my stuff? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Let me see. I'll tell you guys, because it's two drones and I have lost my mind. So hold on one second. Where are we? We have a, uh, a, bay, a crocodile baby four and a Flywoo Explorer. So apparently these are all. Thank you. Okay, they don't spin up. Okay, so I'm gonna. Here they are, right here. And by the way, John Cobb is here. What's up, John? Hey. <laughs> He's over there. That's his excited voice. Hey. All right, listen. So I'm these, these two. These are like uh, kilos of drone, I guess. This is what they look like. Anyways, so we're gonna open one, whichever one, random. I don't know which one it is, but these are wrapped like they are, like they don't want customs to open them. So, figure if I record this and something bad happens, we know. So let's just get this open. God darn. It's a package inside a package. My favorite. And then it's a package inside a package, inside a package. Okay, so I won't say your name, customer. I appreciate your business, but please make it easy on me. Wrap them up, one piece of tape will close the whole thing. No need to go crazy. All right, there we go. We now have a drone. All right, this is the GEPRC Crocodile Baby. Now let's see, ooh, God darn. <laughs> well. The fact that the USB has been crushed into oblivion, that's not a good sign. So that could be a problem. Uh, let's see what it says. The crocodile had a bad crash, yeah, I'd say so. And after some solder rework, it does not power up, nor does it show video over Cadex Vista. Well, that's because it's been sent through Beirut. Let's see. Let's get the right tools here. And here we go. Let's open it up, shall we? John, you getting it working? It doesn't want to uh, connect to the receiver, even though it's showing it's connected to the receiver. Uh, what receiver are you using? S bus. That's not a receiver. What receiver are you using? Um, what brand? Actually, it's the one I'm talking about. You gotta help me. You could, you... Is it a Free Sky? Yes. Okay, so you're running a Free Sky. And you're not seeing any feedback from the beta flight? It's functioning through beta flight, but it's not functioning on the drone. Say what? In other words, the motor is not powering up when I hit the throttle. Right, but do you see the stick movement in beta flight? Yes. So when you move the radio sticks, it moves? Yes. Okay, then it's not the receiver not functioning. So, first thing you want to do when you have that problem is check your sticks make sure the stick pad okay you're in you're in, i can see your screen you're in motors you can't be in there uh, no. huh. <sighs> all right let's see so we have this vista and it is whoppy jog So what we're going to do is we're going to try to clean this up and try to figure out what the heck is going on, dog. I would say that, first of all, if that USB is compressed like it is, but you can see it right there. I mean, it's it's smashed, right? So the problem is, is that will automatically ground out the 5 volt if it's touching the pins. Because there's a... What was that? Babe, is that you? I heard a noise. Okay. Uh, also... Um, the soldering on here, it needs some help. So we're gonna look at that next. So let's pull this off because the soldering on here is not gonna work uh, with the way this Vista has been done. And we'll show you guys that under the microscope. First, let me just get this off. What is that? Who's writing me? Got a 
Got a lot of people stopping by today, guys. Okay. Um, order. That's all he asked for. That's that's it. Okay. Will you put it on the shelf or something? I'll set it right up here for you. It's got a post-it note on it. Do I need to read it? Uh, no. There's a note I made on there, but no, it's not like important. Okay. Okay. We got everybody stopping by today, so it's gonna be a little crazy. So we're gonna have some interruptions, but that's good because everybody's getting ready before Christmas. All right. So what we're gonna do. All right, so let's look at the soldering first and let's discuss that, okay? So I'm gonna put this under the microscope. Let you guys see what we're talking about here. There it is. I'm gonna bring this down here, here, and here. Whoops, there you go. Okay, so we're under the microscope right now. Let me just kind of get this set here for you to see. Okay, this is the wiring. What? Okay. Um, so this is the wiring that we have a problem with. We need to clean this up as well. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to get the soldering iron on. At least clean this off. And then let's look at the board itself. So. We can see, and I guess I can show you this under the microscope too. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I can get it to focus. Look how slammed this is. Uh, I think I can get it to focus here, watch. Look, look, that's the USB port, okay? So if we, if we have compressed this to the point where it's making contact with the five volt in there, then you are now grounding out the five volt and your board won't start. So enough of that, let's get down to business. There you go. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to disconnect the Vista. There you go. clean all the soldering up on here all right but that'll come later right now we need to figure out why the board doesn't even start up okay so let's put that aside let's focus on the board for a minute okay so on the board we have a compressed USB so and then oh no okay and we have a bunch of soldering problems here Let's show you this one as well. Right there. So we've got to clean up all of this. I don't even know what's going on. What do you need, Sam? Nothing, Mike. Nothing. I heard you talking. I thought you needed something. Where's John? He's right here. He's asking me questions. Oh. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up. It's kind of hodgepodge here. Not really, I don't have much faith in what's left of this. So let's just separate everything, take it back down to the bare minimum, and then see what we have left to work with. Uh, no time to answer. Not right now. Okay, sorry guys, it's going to be... <clears throat> Operator error? <laughs> you can just say that out loud, John. 
<laughs> you tell me to be quiet. Well, I mean, no. You can say that out loud. That one's acceptable. Yeah, you just want to rub it in, that's all. No. <laughs> no. All right, so we got a bunch of mess here. Um, God darn. Okay, so we have our, what the heck? Okay, so I'm just gonna plug this in with a smoke stopper we're going to see what happens. Mm -hmm. That's progress. I'll take that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to separate the USB port. Try to pry it open without breaking it. It's not an easy task, I'll tell you. So if it breaks, it breaks. But if we can pry it open... All right. Cool. So now let's plug in our USB. Now we've got it pried open. Let's see if we can get this on beta flight to do anything. And it's still not open enough. It's still compressed a little too much. And that's because the bottom piece. So come on. If we maybe there we go. M8S Come on Alright, so there's damage there Because it's causing my USB port to damage So Let's see uh, One second show you what I'm watching here okay so what I'm going to be looking for is right here to see if I'm losing items when I plug this in yeah it knocks out my USB and it puts it back The dog or your mom? My mom. No, my, oh. my dog. My dog. My your mom's dog. dog. Okay. My mom's dog. <laughs> okay. Well, holy, I'm like, wait a minute, dude. No, my mom's dog, man. <laughs> hey, oh, what flight controller do you run on these? All these little ones. These. Cause remember, you gave me the frame like this. Yep. Yeah. I, I run the. Uh, I run a. An AIO flight controller on those, but. Um, uh, we're getting ready to do a new set with a new flight controller for those. So I'll hook you up when they come in. Yeah, yeah, well, I was, yeah, because I was wanting to get, I was wanting to add that to my thing. I just want like a flight controller for that little one. Uh, okay, so then the flame, you know the flame two stack, the red boards, the HDLRC flame. It's got the ESC. It's a twenty by twenty. I can have one board. You should have multiple. No, I mean like it's in a box. Okay, but it's in the box of the stack. Yes. Oh. It's a 20 amp stack, I believe. I'm always closing my eyes. I'm used to my dogs. 
Yeah. That dog mm-hmm. breath smells like terrible. Don't, don't go near her. Oh, I, uh, don't worry about that. No, she, I've had dogs with me. No. I'm used to my dogs. I mean, you go to give, they, they, they kiss, kiss, and then they knit. <laughs> hey, we found the problem. All right. After all was said and done, we found the problem. A big glob of solder right there that shorted it out. Now, let's see what happens when we plug this in. Good God, this was, this is crazy. So, a big glob of solder. Hey, hey, we got lights now. Look at that. We have power. So this thing shorted out um, because there was a big glob of solder drops right here, and that is not a good thing. All right, guys, listen, uh, it's a new day. Uh, I'm back on this build. What you guys have seen me fast forwarding is because I had so many people here yesterday and they wouldn't stop talking. And it's like cool and all, but I mean, I have to do my videos. And so when they're sitting there jib jabbering, I have to turn the audio off and fast forward the videos. It just kind of screws everything up. So today I've told everybody, don't bother me. So today is my day to get this drone done because this was a hell of a project and I'm really hoping that this comes out right. And I hate when I can't explain what we're doing because I want people to be able to watch and learn and ask questions if they have any. Um, anyway, so okay, so what we've done here, let's just get to this. So what was decided on this board, uh, the five volt was damaged. Now we were able to get this board once we straightened up the USB and once we were moved, there was a drop of solder that we found by using our microscope and that solder was shorting out the board and I believe it was right here. Um, and anyways, you'll see that it was in the video when we did it. We removed that. We're able to get the board to come back up, but there's still a vi the five volt regulator is damaged. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like messing with this board too much more because when you start seeing damage like that, there's no way to guarantee that even if I fix it, it's not going to get ruined again. So we've put a new board on here. We use a JHMCU F405 25 amp uh, AIO. 
and everything has fit very nicely. We've got everything wired up except, um, I believe that the gentleman had a finder, which was toast, and he has GPS. Now, I don't know if we're gonna put GPS on here. Um, I'm, I guess we can see if we need to, and I need to look at to see if we have any more ports open. Uh, but right now, where we're at here, what I'm looking to do is I'm just looking to get this to fly again and make sure that everything is salvageable. We know that the camera, we replaced the camera wire because we know that the Vista unit would not turn on. Um, and it was just sitting in a constant red because the wire that was on here had been torn. And so it was actually shorting out the Vista unit. So we corrected that as well. Now the Vista unit powers back up. Um, and on this case, I'm going to tell you that because it's already broken on the button, I took the buy button off because it's broken. Instead of adding wires, you can just literally just take your uh, uh, tweezers or something. You just touch these two right here and boom, you're good. So because this is open and it's easy accessible, I'm not going to solder any wires to this. So the only thing I need to do now is I need to get ready to mount this and we can get to a test flying. Now this is where I stopped in the video yesterday because I was kind of confused as to how to mount this properly if we're going to put the battery on the top because this kind of gets in the way and it's going to have a bump here. So I'm going to try to use the thinnest, uh, I guess what we'll use is, you know what, we'll use some bell, uh, bell, uh, bell top screws here. So let me find some that might be long enough. So I need a screw that is at least oh let's see uh we'll take uh let's go up to the usb so from the usb down let's say 13 millimeters long plus we have another two to three mil on the top uh through the carbon fiber plus we need another two to three mil so 13 15 17. let's look for an 18 millimeter um uh, bell m2 screw and i think i've got one button head sorry about that button head so I've got a 16 and I've got a 20. I don't think I have an 18 actually. So let me just see. If I take the 20, as long as the 20 is not too long, this might actually work. So let me grab a couple of these. Okay, so we're gonna try these. Let's just see, I've got some here. So we're gonna see if this works. So let's send them to the top and that should actually fit very nicely. Let's put this down here, just like that. Perfect, and yeah, that's that's kind of super long actually. Let me see, that's gonna be too long. All right, so maybe we can use a 16, I don't know. Let me try the 16. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's gonna be too short. No, actually that's perfect, holy cow. So we're gonna go with a 16, and let me get some metal M2 uh, lock nuts here, or metal M2 fasteners. Uh, where the heck did I put them? Them there fasteners. Okay, there. All right, so we're going to take these. Let's put this on the bottom. Just like that. Okay. Uh, let me see. Why do we have. What do we have here? We have something that is uh, interfering with this, and that is, all right, that's fine actually. So we'll put that there, and let's go to the next 16 over here. There we go. Put the fastener here. Okay, okay, excellent. Now let's do another one. We've got two more, and then this actually should be pretty good. I'll, I'll reach out to the customer, obviously, to see about the GPS and the uh, finder. Um, you know, one of the things that we want to always make sure of is you don't want to pack too much on, right? Um, try to keep things organized properly and just try to stay within what is logical for the amount of um, space available within the drone and also on the flight controller so we're gonna see but right now let's see if we can just bring this thing back to life okay so there we go so now that's on that fits well I think I think we're gonna clear just fine which we do um, everything actually looks like it fits really well okay so with this regard um, 
I guess what we can do is bind my TBS if we have to. It's not something I usually fly, but why not? We'll give it a shot. Uh, let me get his, what did he do here? This must be, I suppose it would go like this, I guess. I don't know, maybe it goes like this. I don't know how much space, oh, you know what? No, maybe it goes like this. And those must go through the bottom, okay. So let's try that. Let's put this on. There we go. Let's leave that right there. And I'm guessing, does it come on top? It can't. No, it's going to go right inside like this. I would assume. Yep, perfect. So we'll put this like this. I think that's exactly how it's going to go. Uh, and so we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so let me do that. And let's close this up and see how it looks. And see if we can get it to fly at some point. All right, so here we go. Okay, one. I'm just gonna grab some random screws here uh, because right now it's not a final, it's just to see if we can get this to fit and see if we can get it to fly. That's too long. Let's flip this around now. And let's get some socket head screws as well. So let's do eight mil, I think will work. What is going on? Okay, so let's just say for argument's sake here, we are ready to go. Uh, we're ready to at least test this. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug it into Betaflight. Okay, let me get into beta flight here and I'll show you the screen so you guys can see it. Gotta put these screws back so I can get the magnet. Makes it easier when you use a magnet to do that. All right. All right, so here is the computer screen. And now you can see, uh, let's do it in, uh, let me, give me a second here. I wanna adjust the, is it split screen? See, no, 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 no. Slots, what is this one? Edit three, there we go, done. Okay, so I'm gonna try this, and I know a lot of you guys don't like this, but it will make it easier for me. There we go. All right, so on one side you have beta flight, on the other side you have the drone, and in the middle you have my ugly face. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and connect. And what we want to do is let's just check and make sure that we're even. So we have to adjust the board because this is a normally a board set at 45 degrees, and this is not. So if you look at this board right now, and I tell it, now the quad's facing away from me, right? And I go up and I lift it. This board needs to, it's wanting to angle like this, right? So uh, we need to bring the board back. So let's go to configuration. And what we want to do here is um, 
Let's take the yaw here and let's go minus, I believe it's gonna be, we'll do minus 45. Okay, save and reboot. Now let's see if that does it. This is always something fun for me to figure out. Oh no, that's definitely wrong. So that was way off. So let's go back and let's go to So we have everything set right now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now let's go to our motors because we're gonna have to do a mapping most likely. So let's see what we got here. Motor one. Oh, that spins actually. Motor, holy crap. Good luck on that one. Motor two. Whoa. Motor three. Guys, we are perfect. That is perfect actually. Uh, so now let's go to our configuration. Um, I believe what we did, we're not gonna run motor stop on this. Uh, and I believe, uh, let's see, we're running D-Shot 600. Uh, let me scroll down here and see what else we're gonna do. We are running, this is running TBS. So let's go to Crossfire, click Save and Reboot. And then let's connect again and let's go to our ports. This is where I have to remember, so. What did I do here? I believe it was UART 3 was for TBS. I believe UART, no wait, hold on. What did I do here? We have a truck here. Do we know who it is? Anybody, Sam? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we used UART3 uh, for that. And then for the other one, I want to say... That will be UART6. So let's see if we're going to be able to get this to work. Okay. Let's try that. Let's connect. All right. So now, uh, now it's just a matter of getting this thing configured and testing it out. But what we do know is that everything else is set up properly. Um, we can then now, I will bind the receiver. Uh, so let me grab, what do I run TBS? Is it, nope. is it this one? Nope. Any one of these run TBS? Yep, right here, my QX7. So we're gonna go to the QX7, power it up. And let's see if we can bind. I'm gonna power this off real quickly because it's that that is just starting to cook. Uh, and it says I have no battery. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see where we're at. Sometimes my the radio will take a while and hang and so I'll just do it through the uh, computer so let me just probably end up doing that okay XF micro TX that's it I did find it it's just running very slow I don't think I'm going to wait again. I'm just going to plug it in. There we go. Oh, have I, I've, I've run that on here before, I think. Yep, I have. And I'm going to get this thing running on the table so we can keep the Vista cool. So let me put this here and let me just get this turned on. This way the Vista will have some air going to it and try to keep it cool. 
Okay, so let me turn that out like that. There we go, just like that. All right. So let's, oh, let's download. Let's update our Vista, I mean our TBS software. Are we guys, are we ready for lunch? Are you all eating on me? Yeah. Okay, I'll just do this one update and then we'll go eat and I'll finish this later. Okay, so let's skip. Now let's look up where we're at. Uh, we can delete this one. Bye, confirm, delete, confirm, delete, confirm. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's go to settings and let's check the firmware. Beta, beta, uh, current, 6.9. Let's go and update. I don't want to do the beta, so let's just do the regular and let's click update. Update, update, hurry up. Hundred percent. Let's go. It's keeping that uh, cool. That's awesome. Okay, so we're done. It says complete. All right, so let's go back. Uh, oh, sorry, back here. Configure and go back to our device. Go to our settings. I guess maybe it's still updating. There we go. So let's go to bind. Second, I can get to the receiver. Yeah, I'm going to click confirm.
All right, so now we are good. We are bound. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and disconnect. So where is my... Okay, let me just close this out. I did it. And I don't even see... Here. There we go. All right. Oh, I think my battery's... Yeah, my battery's dead. All right, we'll be right back. Let me charge this real quick. Let me go ahead and plug this in. And we will check to make sure that we're set up. Okay, so let's go to receiver. There we go. We're going to flip this around. Save. Okay, let's go to modes. I'm going to set this one. Verizon. Uh, and then we'll do fail safe. Oh, I guess I don't have my. There we go. We'll do fail safe here. Go peeper here. Uh, and let's see, do I have. Let me save this real quickly. Let's go back to configuration. And let's pull off. If they have it active, we're going to take that off. We're going to let telemetry on, remove LED strip. Let's leave that for right now. Okay, let's connect. Let's go to our modes again, and let's go to where we will activate air mode in middle position, horizon in bottom position. It will be armed here. So now let's go to motors. And we can see the motors are armed. Everything looks great. Okay. Excellent. So we are ready for a test flight here. So I'm just going to uh, let me go to disable and let's turn this off and let's disconnect. Now, let me take the power off. I do need to take this off. Let's go ahead and get the battery charged. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna get the props. Let me put these props on. All right, so let's do that. This should come out nice. I can turn this fan off now because the Vista is no longer powered on. Let's go ahead and get the props set up. Uh, and these are not running in reverse, so I can go ahead and do that. Uh, battery here we can go back to this now whoops no sorry this there we go that battery should be done shortly so we'll be ready to go and I hope that you guys who have these if you ever need to replace that board which is let me see this is the 
Oh gosh, it was right here. The GEP F4 20 amp. Uh, this is an excellent option here. It clearly shows that it fits. As a matter of fact, it's kind of got me thinking that maybe we need to design a frame that will fit on this as well, uh, because this is a very easy build. Uh, there's a lot of room though, which I'm surprised. I mean, I would probably try to condense some of the room, but no matter what, this is not something that is too difficult to uh, come up with. So we'll do that. Now, let me get the, let me get a uh, light bulb strap. And what I'll do now is just start cleaning up while that lipo is charging, and we should be good to go. I'm going to stop the charge early so we can get this up. So bear with me a second. I'm just going to zip this through. I'm going to strap this down just like this by wrapping it around the entire frame. There's no harm in that here. So let me do that. All right. There is no silicone pad. Let me have a silicone pad here. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Can I have a silicone pad, please? Oh, well, you know what? Never mind. There's one just kind of laying around on the ground here. I'll just use this. All I need is something temporary. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I found this one just kind of laying on the ground. I know it doesn't belong to this drone, but you know what? For the purpose of what I need, it'll work. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. Huh. There we go. Now, we'll plug this in. Alright, now we'll flip the camera around. Let's give you a full screen and let's turn that around. Perfect. And we will go and put this on the ground over there. Okay. And let's see what we got. Perfect. That is perfect. So all I can say there is, let me do this and say this. The drone is perfect, runs like a champ. So we've got that fixed. I'll reach out to the customer about adding the GPS or the buzzer. But the main thing is this thing is back up and running like a champ. So that is one that is done. That was a pretty difficult uh, repair right there. I'm going to go ahead and power my radio off. Uh, and uh, we'll get started because he sent me two. The next one's a flywoo. So we're going to start on that one. Guys, if you have any questions, as always, please hit me up at targetcyclingfpv.com. Uh, let me see. I've got some there. That's our, uh, that's our uh, YouTube channel. If you'll please follow that or subscribe to that, I'd really appreciate it. And then you can always go to us uh, on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash cyclingfpv. Uh, and other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Christmas is right around the corner. I hope you have a great Christmas with your family. Go spend some time with them. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. And to my kids, Ashton, Lennon, and Jaden, love you guys. See you soon. Hope you're having fun. Be good. And uh, follow your rules. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.